We wouldn't be building spaceships today if it hadn't been for that, so it was the right decision. Now, ever wondered why Richard Branson went all astronauty and decided to start building spaceships? Well, apart from the fact he has billions in the bank and can basically rule the world, it's actually all down to Virgin Records. The record label, which was founded by Branson in 1973, is celebrating its 40th anniversary with an exhibition in London. And the entrepreneur has been getting all nostalgic talking about the label's success and how hard it was to let it go. I think the Sex Pistols uh, put Virgin on the map. Um, we did only, it was like they only made one album. I mean, you know, they have no notoriety. Uh, you would assume that they've made as many albums as the Rolling Stones, but they only made one album before they imploded, and it firmly established Virgin as a brand. Um, a slightly risque brand, but as a brand. How much did you have to agonise over that decision? It must have been hard. Yeah, of course, it was very hard. It's like, you know, you're selling, you know, selling your children. I mean, you build something from scratch. We just signed Janet Jackson, we just signed the Rolling Stones when we, when we sold it. Um, and. Um, I remember running down Labrick Grove, uh, tears streaming down my face with this check for a billion dollars in my pocket. And I thought, thinking, you know, if anybody realized that, you know, what had just happened, you know, billion dollars in the pocket, uh, tears streaming down the face, it must have looked very strange. <laughs> so it was a, a difficult moment. Picked ourselves up very quickly, and we wouldn't be building spaceships today if it hadn't been for that. So it was the right decision. I like to think I'm still a hippie at heart and, and, and I never never got into the punk uh, punk thing. I quite like to keep my hair. You know, I get, I get involved in uh, a lot of organizations that come from my experience of being in the record business. I'm on the, the global commission on drugs. We, you know, we, we, we are trying to get governments to change their policy and help people who have drug problems rather than criminalize them. And, uh, so I suspect um, you know, a lot of, quite a bit of that's rubbed off from my days in the record business. You can check out the exhibition, which is called 40 Years of Disruptions, at London's Victoria House.